Let us recap what we have learnt in this module. In this module, we took a look at the role of a buyer in the retailer's organization. Here are the six major roles of the buyer. It begins with choosing the appropriate items for the category in the retailer's store. Since a retailer can keep only a limited number of items for different categories at the store, the buyer has to ensure that the item that he chooses are the best selling items for that retailer. Once the buyer has identified the item, he chooses the appropriate vendor for that item. Here he makes a choice whether he wants to buy a national brand for that item or make his own private brand. The other choice that he makes is where he sources that item from, locally or from elsewhere. Once he's chosen the vendor, he negotiates the costs and the different trade terms with that supplier and based on that and based on that and his competitors sets a price for that item and keeps it at the store. Next, he keeps adjusting the price and the various marketing and promotional activities of the items to sell them as much as possible within the planned time horizon. Lastly, and the most important function of the buyer is planning for the future. As we said, a buyer buys the items today that he will be selling tomorrow. The horizon of this tomorrow differs for different categories. But for certain categories and for certain retailers, this can be months, even years. For example, a retailer likes Walmart, plans and places the order for its Christmas merchandise almost 18 months in advance. Such quantum of planning is not possible without the use of business intelligence and analytics and as a result they have become the backbone of the planning and forecasting function of all large retailers. Let us see how the merchandising function or the buyers in the retailers organization are organized. The buying function or the merchandising function reports to the chief operating officer who is responsible for all the operations including merchandising, store operations and distribution. The merchandising function is handled by a chief merchant officer who is the senior most buyer and is responsible for all the categories that a retailer sells. A chief merchandising officer would typically have a few general merchandising managers handling different divisions of the retailer's assortment reporting to him. For example, in this case, the retailer has divided his assortment into food categories and non-food categories and has two GMMs for the same. Likewise, these GMMs would be having divisional merchandising managers handling different subdivisions reporting to him. In this example, the GMM for food has two DMMs handling dry food which includes categories like biscuits and sauces and a DMM for fresh food which includes perishable categories like milk and fish. Each of these categories would be handled by a buyer or a set of buyers. Hence, this is what a typical merchandising hierarchy looks like. Starting from the bottom, the buyers report to the divisional merchandising managers who report 
to the general merchandising managers who report to the chief merchandising officer who handles all the categories of the retailer and reports to the chief operating officer or the COO who handles all the retailers operations including distribution and store operations. So this was about buying.